Thank you for joining us today. We at U Success Kenya continue to change mindsets for a better tomorrow. Have you ever wondered why change mindsets? The kind of mindset one has can determine the kind of life one is living. Are you living a mediocre, ordinary, or extraordinary life? This is determined by the kind of mindset you possess. As you success we believe, if one individual changes their mindset to a constructive one, they will change themselves first, change their family, change their society, change their country and eventually change the world. In our last video, we discussed beliefs, patterns and habits. If you have been following our video series The Art of Designing Your Life, you have realized that our focus is very much on the inner working of your life. Our society today strongly focuses on the outer workings of life so to speak. How you look, what you have accomplished, your status, what you own. While all these things are important, true wealth, true success lies in the unseen. The unseen is the balanced, grounded, flexible, congruent and actualized person within. Once you have achieved this unseen internal balance, your external world will begin to transform. You will be more peaceful, creative, productive, drive to try new things, improved relationships, etc. This is what this video series is hoping to facilitate for every individual working through this journey. If you conquer yourself, then you conquer the world, Paulo Coelho. That said, let us continue to learn the steps on how we can make this a reality. Our topic today, we will be looking at the interactions between thoughts, emotions, and behaviors. How we think, feel and behave is highly determined by our belief systems. This beliefs as discussed in our previous video can either be explicit beliefs, conscious or implicit beliefs, unconscious. Whether or not we are aware of this fact, it greatly affects how we think, how we feel and how we behave. Can one change how they think, feel and behave especially if it generates negative consequences? Of course, everyone has the ability and capacity to design their life to what they desire. Our learning objective by the end of this video is to understand. 1. What are thoughts? 2. What are emotions? 3. What are behaviors? 4. The formation of thoughts, emotions and behaviors. 5. Examples of irrational beliefs and cognitive distortion, negative thought patterns. 6. How to change to new thoughts, emotions, and behaviors. 7. Self-reflection exercises. So let's get started. What are thoughts? It is said that human beings have an average of 6,200 to 75,000 thoughts per day as quoted by different researchers. Thoughts are mental or cognitive interpretations that occur in our mind. These interpretations are how we view ourselves and the world through our ideas, opinions, attitudes, judgments, perceptions, and beliefs. Thoughts occur either by intent, or are triggered suddenly by our five senses, past experiences and future expectations. Not all thoughts that come to mind are facts nor truth. Truth, in quotes, like beauty is determined by the eye of the beholder. For instance when something happens, two or more people witnessing it, will have varied interpretation, good, bad, neutral. Interestingly, each person's view is the correct version. This in most cases is the basis for arguments and misunderstandings. What are emotions? Emotions are the feelings we feel in our body once a mental interpretation occurs about a situation. These emotions occur automatically, positive or negative depending on what has occurred. Emotions can also be defined as energy in motion. This motion explains why one feels i.e. a sensation, a vibration in the body when one is angry, a feeling as though a lump is forming on the throat when one is about to cry. Some people release their emotions constructively, or destructively, while others pent it up. Destructive and pent-up energy can be detrimental to the well-being of an individual causing disease. Emotions, especially negative ones, are not bad, they are a signal that something is off and needs our attention. This is an example of list of emotions that either have a high vibrational impact, positive, or a low vibrational impact, negative, according to Abraham Hicks.
always endeavor to work towards being in the positive emotions bracket. Let us now look at what are behaviors. Behavior is a visibly slash observable reaction or response to self, someone or something. It is the way a person reacts, conducts him slash herself in response to a situation, experience or event. This reaction can either be conscious or unconscious. When we stop to think before reacting, it means we are conscious. When we react and think later, it means we are not conscious. People mostly find themselves in lots of trouble due to the latter. How we think, feel and behave can be changed. Later in this module we will look at what it is we can do to drive the change we want in our lives. How are thoughts, emotions and behaviors formed? In this self-explanatory illustration, you can easily tell the formation of habitual thinking, feeling and acting. Each one of us owes it to themselves to intentionally self-reflect, question and challenge these habitual patterns. Are they serving you and others in a constructive or destructive way? When you factor in the different phases in life, you will recognize that time is moving whether we like it or not. The right time to change course is not yesterday, tomorrow, but today. Like James Clear states in his book Atomic Habits, tiny changes make a big difference. Let us now briefly explore irrational beliefs and negative thought patterns, cognitive distortions. According to Albert Ellis, who was an American psychologist, irrational beliefs are negative sets of habitual reactions we hold when faced with stressful events or situations resulting in psychological distress. These are some of the irrational beliefs that Ellis identified. The list is longer but we will only mention a few. 1. I need everyone to approve of me. 2. To be valuable I must succeed in everything I do. 3. It is not okay to make mistakes, if I do, I am bad. 4. People should strive to ensure, I am happy always. 5. Things must work out the way I want them to. 6. My emotions are illnesses that I am powerless to control. 7. Everyone needs to rely on someone stronger than themselves. 8. Events in my past are to blame for my attitudes and behaviors today. 9. Someone somewhere should take responsibility for me. Let us now look at what cognitive distortions are. Cognitive distortions as according to Aaron Beck another American psychologist, are negative exaggerated thinking patterns that are not based on facts. A few examples of cognitive distortions are 1. Jumping into conclusions. 2. Catastrophizing, focusing on the worst-case scenario. 3. Mental filtering. Ignoring, distorting or deleting some facts because your mind is not ready to face the truth. 4. Tunnel thinking, things have to work out only in a certain way, your way. 5. Blaming and irresponsibility of self. It is easier to blame others than take responsibility for your own life. 6. Emotional reasoning, confusing feelings with facts. 7. Self-labeling and labeling others. People tend to accept and role-play labels that have given to themselves or by others that justifies their actions. 8. Personalization, taking things personally. Bottom line, this patterns of belief and distortions can result in nothing but negative thinking which hugely impacts your mental health. Let us now consider. What do we need to do to change to new patterns of thinking, feeling and acting? Change is not for the weak-hearted. It takes persistence and resilience to conquer the enemy within. The enemy within is, the resistance you will face within yourself while attempting to change things that have already been programmed in your mind. The factors that can propel us towards creating new patterns of thoughts, emotions and behaviors are. 1. Awareness. Self-awareness helps us to recognize the discomfort caused by the things not working in our lives. I.e. broken relationships, poor performance at school, at work, feeling stuck and overwhelmed, substance abuse, drinking alcohol, addictions, self-inflicted injuries, suicidal thoughts, weight issues etc. 2. Have the desire or intention to change and make things better. Give your intention a why. I.e. I want to have the best grades at school, the why. As a gift to my parents who never graduated high school. 3. 
Seek the knowledge on what to do to change course. 4. Define an action plan. Have smart goals that will propel you towards your desired result. 5. Develop a sense of willpower and fortitude that will keep going when the going gets tough. 6. Identify an accountability partner to be your support system when required to help you remain focused. An accountability partner can be a mentor, a friend, or a life coach. We hope by now you have learned some information that will trigger a need for you to review your life. Here are some self-reflection exercises you can start with. 1. Review the irrational beliefs and cognitive distortions highlighted earlier. Do not let this list restrict you. Identify the ones applicable to you. 2. Reflect on your life and identify what these beliefs and distortions have cost you so far. Would you be willing to consider a change? 3. Alongside the identified beliefs and distortions applicable to you. Write down your counter measure action. 4. Have the actions as smart goals then get to work. 5. Be conscious to note any positive changes in your thinking, feeling, and acting. Adapt this new patterns moving forward. As we conclude, keep in mind the following tips. Tip 1. We are capable of changing our thoughts, emotions and behavior from destructive to constructive. Tip 2. Always challenge your negative thoughts, emotions and behaviors. Tip 3. Identify and replace negative thoughts, emotions and behaviors with positive ones. I.e. experiencing a negative emotion, sadness due to a sense of lack, replace it with a sense of gratitude. Tip 4. In every event, experience and situations, there is always two sides a positive or a negative. Always choose to see the positive even while recognizing the negative. Tip 5. Be mindful about what you see, hear, and your environment. You become a product of your environment. This is then expressed in your thoughts, emotions, and behavior. Thank you and we look forward to engaging with you in our next video. Our quote for today. Thoughts create emotions. Emotions create feelings and feelings create behavior. So it's very important that our thoughts are positive to attract the right people, events, and circumstances into our lives. Avis J. Williams